Well, good morning. You know, I know that talking about testicular cancer may be uncomfortable for some, but it's a conversation that needs to be started. And maybe this morning we can save a life. Testicular cancer is one of the biggest health issues facing young men ages 15 to 35 today, and it's time to raise awareness about the disease. Mike Craycraft is the founder of the Testicular Cancer Society. He is also a survivor of testicular cancer. Mike wants to bring resources to men who are battling this rare but common cancer in young men. I felt a lump and waited seven months to get diagnosed. So I figured as a healthcare professional, there's a lot of other people out there doing the same thing. And so if I could help prevent that delay, as well as kind of be the spoke of the wheel uh, and get people to come to me, I could show them where resources are. My youngest brother, Hamden Mead Maxwell, was also diagnosed with stage one testicular cancer in October of 2019 at the age of 24. The first step in treating testicular cancer, Henry Ford urologist Dr. Craig Rogers says, is to remove it. After that, there may be treatments that include chemotherapy, radiation, or further surgery to remove lymph nodes in what's called the retroperitoneum. So because of this, it's, it truly is a multidisciplinary care. My brother battled day in and day out, chemo round after chemo round, week in and week out. But the cancer grew stronger and became more aggressive to stage three really quickly, eventually spreading out throughout his entire body. And despite all of the treatments, radiation and chemo, 11 months later, after a hard-fought battle, my brother sadly passed away at the age of 25. I am sharing my brother's story with you today to raise awareness and to normalize the conversation and to break the stigma around testicular cancer. According to the American Cancer Society, testicular cancer is the most common cancer in men ages 15 to 34, and about 10,000 men will annually be diagnosed, and approximately 450 men will die from the disease, and survival rates for the cancer is 98% if caught early. It doesn't matter what the body part is, it's cancer, right? So, you know, a lot of times there's huge Humor used in raising awareness. That's just because you know you're you're talking generally to young men, and you need to grab their attention. Um, but it should just be like any other conversation. Now, here are some of the warning signs of testicular cancer from the American Cancer Society: a painless slump or swelling in your testicle, pain or discomfort in your testicle or scrotum, a dull ache in your lower abdomen or groin, or sudden buildup of fluid in your scrotum. And the biggest advocate, Dr. Rogers says, and every doctor that I've spoken to, is yourself. And as a caregiver, as a former caregiver uh, for someone who did have testicular cancer, it's a disease that no one and no men should have. And you should definitely get checked out if you do feel that something is wrong. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Thank you so much, Peter, for sharing this story. And normalizing the conversation is so important. You know, decades ago, nobody wanted to talk about breast cancer, and now everyone's comfortable with it.